Hi there. In this screencast, we are going to talk about how we can add HTML to PHP or PHP to HTML. Okay, that's a very important topic because suppose you already have written your HTML code and you need to add PHP to it. Or suppose in the another case, you already have a long PHP code and you, and you like to write something, some, PH, some HTML statements within it. So these are two different scenarios and I'll show you how to do that and also when do we want to do this so let's say suppose I have an already existing HTML page you already understand these tags you have a doc type an HTML tag uh, head body and some HTML tags over here now suppose that I uh, see over here I, I mentioned that I'm planning to say using the for loop in PHP and then showing it over here and then I'm going to say using while loop in PHP and I'm going to show it over here and then finally I'm going to say using the do while loop and again I'm going to showcase this over here now whenever you want to add PHP code to an existing HTML file what you need to simply do is suppose just go to the place where you want to add the PHP code and insert your PHP code using the delimiters that we talked about so whenever you want to write the PHP code within your HTML file with wherever you need to do that you just need to put this delimiters over here so over here I'm going to say ec PHP delimiters which is less than question mark PHP question mark greater than this is this sh tells the application server that this code is PHP and the remaining part is plain HTML so I can go there over here and then I can simply let's say echo this is coming from a PHP code just to simply show you how this is done and then let me just go over there and run this file which is PHP HTML I'm going to just say screencast slash php html dot php and you see this is what we wrote just now this is from html the heading one this is the paragraph from html this is the heading two from html and this one is echoed from php from output you don't see the difference if i just go to show you the the source code you see there is no difference in the output although this has the h2 tag this one it doesn't have a tag because I'm echoing it from PHP but you don't see the echo statement because PHP it doesn't show you that uh, because I too as I told you browser understands only HTML and our application server converted that PHP code into HTML and then send it to the browser so that we can understand or the browser can understand what is coming in and then displays it displays it to us as it is okay so that's what that's how we do it so whenever you want to add HTML a PHP code to your HTML existing HTML file you just need to add this line of code you just need to use the beginning and the ending of the HTML and you can use it anywhere you like it's not just once you, you don't need to use it once you can use it anywhere you like so what I'm going to do over here is showcase you uh, within this code how to use the for loop so I'm going to use the f using for loop the same thing that we did earlier I'm going to use dollar I equal to one dollar i dollar i less than ten dollar i plus plus I wait this okay I'm going to say echo this is from the for loop okay that's how I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do that again for the for loop so I can wherever as I told you wherever you want to have your PHP code you need to just include this delimiters inside so I'm doing the same thing over here dollar j is equals to zero and then while one, well, it's up to you. Just, just taking it as a sample. Say while dollar j is less than ten, and then I'm just going to echo out. This is from the while loop. Okay, 
and then finally the last one I again want to add my PHP code over here so I'm going to add this delimiters and then I'm going to say echo sorry this is the do while loop so I'm going to again say dollar k equal to one one thing I forgot in the while loop is to update the looping variable or the working variable to update it okay and then k equal to one and then I say do and then I'm going to ah k is less than 10 and then inside I'm going to say echo this is from the do while loop and then I'm going to update the variable k plus plus and that should do it okay I'm going to save this and this is how you do that so whenever you want to add PHP code to your HTML you have an existing HTML file and you want to add PHP code to it you just begin and end using these delimiters and write your PHP code inside it so where and you can repeat anywhere you want it it's just not just uh, it's not necessary that you only need to use this delimiters once and then write everything for your PHP inside so it's like anywhere you want to insert PHP code you just do this Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, ref and refresh our page that we just did, and you can see what happened. So this is from the for loop. This is using the do. This is using the while loop, and this is using the do while loop. Okay, so that's simple. And let's go on to the other case where I have an existing PHP file, and to that file I want to add HTML code inside it. Okay, now let's see why do we need that well, I'll show you in a little while why we need to add that suppose I'm going to go uh, open the file it's called HTML PHP file and you see our file looks like this I love PHP I really love PHP and I really really love PHP we did that in the last class using for loops uh, and while loop and do while loop now what I want to do what I really want to do over here is suppose I want to add spaces I suppose see everything is coming on the single line right because I want to put it on the next line we have a statement in HTML of how to put something on the next line and that is the break line break uh, tag now suppose I want to add that break tag over here so that means I'm, I'm planning to add HTML to an existing PHP file so how do I do that a simple way whenever you want to add HTML to a PHP you just use echo and then you want to use break the tag wherever tag you need within the within echo tags within with, with using echo you cannot just use break you cannot just simply write break like this because now see you are inside H PHP you're not inside HTML you have to think like that so that means we'll have to add break using echo okay so that's more important for us the brackets okay similarly I can do the same thing over here I need to add break I'm going to go down echo and then use the tag br okay okay I need to do the same thing over here I need to say echo break and then change this different okay so whenever you want to add HTML to an existing PHP file you just need to use a echo let's save this again let's go back refresh this you'll see what happened everything for for loop comes on a different line everything for the while loop and everything for the do while loop so I can actually go ahead and write this HTML as well inside I can I can say that echo now this was using the h2 tag h2 say this is using using for loop in PHP and I'm going to close the tag as well this is my HTML tag I have added over here close
closing tag is not correct, have to use a slash. And then I want to do the same thing over here. This time say echo. I'm going to use h2 again. And then say this is using while loop in PHP. H2. And then I can do the same thing echo h2 this is using the do while loop in php okay so i'm going to save this and that that should be done right this is this is what i have done i have just added three HTML lines and so whenever you want to add an HTML line to an existing PHP file you have to use echo you can just simply write that you have to use echo to write that as we did in the previous file whenever you want to write PHP to HTML you have to use these delimiters inside so that's the case whenever you want to use HTML inside PHP you have to use echo otherwise it won't work okay let's save do we save that let's just save that and then I'm going to run it you see what happened this is using h2 and then it starts writing this then it's using the h2 again and this so you can add as many HTML lines as you like. now an important question you can ask me is which one to use when so this method is usually called is used is called as adding PHP to HTML because see I have the outside body the main the main part is the HTML and I have just added small lines of PHP code inside it the other method is say is called as adding HTML to PHP. So I'm going to I have a PHP file because it starts like this in the beginning and ends with the whole thing. So the whole thing is a PHP file. To add HTML inside, I just use the echo statement inside it. So this is called PHP inside HTML, whereas this one is called HTML inside. Okay, I'm confused. This one is called PHP inside HTML, and this one is called HTML inside PHP. Now. The main question is when to use what? Suppose you have an existing HTML page, that means you have more HTML than PHP. Just you need to write the small things about uh, small things of HTML, uh, small things of PHP. More HTML, less PHP. So whenever you have more HTML and less PHP, you use this technique. Okay, whenever you have more HTML and less PHP because see it's much simpler this way it's much simpler this way this technique suppose suppose I told you that I want to use the other way I want to add PHP the hole inside this so you remember you know what will happen so this is the code that will you need to write suppose you want to say that everything should be inside a PHP page okay so I'm going to go down and put everything inside a PHP page and now show you how what are the problems that you will face you see that every time you will have a, a line for HTML, you have to write the echo statement. So it, it, it works only when, whenever you have the line, you have to write the echo statement. So I'm going to do the same thing. So you have this line, say echo. And then you have head, then you can say echo. You can use echo once as well. You can just say, say echo, then start our code over here, and then stop it at whenever you finish your HTML part. Okay? And now you don't need this. We don't need this because you are already inside PHP. So I can just remove this. And this H2 is actually HTML. So whenever I'm using HTML, as I told you, I'm going to use an echo statement. So I'm going to go back over here and then put this inside an echo as well. And then since this is again PHP, I'm inside PHP, I can remove these delimiters because I'm already inside PHP. And then again this is H2 so I'm going to use echo. Which is frustrating. You see I need to write echo whenever I want to use PHP, which is not a very good thing to do. And again, I have 
my remaining HTML tags I'm going to say echo and then do this okay so this is how it needs to work like so this will work exactly nicely I mean I'm just if I just change this to this is also working nothing not I, I didn't I didn't do anything the only difference is instead of using PHP inside HTML I'm using HTML inside PHP but you see it's a lot of work you have to write a lot of echo statements I mean you have more echoes you'll have more echoes than you already uh, you have your PHP lines so you have to you have to decide what to do if your if your program has more HTML content than PHP just use just use the delimiters just use the delimiters wherever you need to add them instead of putting everything inside PHP don't use this whenever you have that in some cases when you have like more PHP and only few HTML lines this like for example over here see in this code I just have like five HTML five or six HTML lines so you don't in, in this case I don't need actually to uh, to put uh, HTML separately otherwise I'll have to like for example put HTML outside and then whenever I'm using PHP I use this so I'll have more PHP code more PHP delimiters than my HTML code itself so it doesn't make any sense so that's that's the that's the deciding point when do you do need to integrate PHP inside HTML and when do you need to integrate HTML inside PHP so if you have more PHP less HTML you use this way you put everything inside this delimiters and then whenever you want to use HTML just say echo and on other hand if you have more HTML in your code than PHP statements then you have to add whenever you have PHP just add your PHP using the delimiters inside so because I changed this to show you I'll just go back and you can see this is this is the one that I want okay Remove my echo statements from here to show you what I was actually going to do. Okay, so this was my first intention, right? So whenever you have your PHP, you just need to add this. You just need to start and end with the PHP code. This is more practical because you you, ha you in most cases you'll have a lot of HTML code, and then you just need to add few lines of PHP inside it, uh, within it. So that's how you do it. So this this is how you integrate PHP and HTML together. Okay? That's it.